I, I'm I'm so confused. I just I keep finding you here in Mason's bed every morning. I have no idea what is going on with my hair. So I like yeah, I wanted to like twist it up a little bit today because it was um in my face. I'm here in some uh clinking in the bathroom. Somebody jumped in the tub and can't get out. There's so some like with my hot nose hair, but yeah, I don't I really don't know what's going on today. <laughs> is this is this your new spot to watch TV? Yeah. Oh my goodness. But this is this is why it's been taking me so long. So I pull the dresser and Yeah, all this. I just I keep finding you here in Mason's bed every morning. I don't know why. You having fun dancing in Tayo? Yeah. You having a dancing party? Yeah. Oh, it's dropped. Oh, what's this one? Uh, it's not music. It's not music. Yeah. It's still bounce. All right, so I just got done unboxing a day bed for Miss Isabella. So, oh, Barkley has to be the camera, and there goes Mason. Um, so I wanted, to, he's just gonna keep doing that. Um, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of cool. So. It's a day bed with drawers. So this over here opens for another mattress. And then over here is drawers to open. So a little annoyed because the bottom box, it came in two boxes. And the bottom box or the longer box was damaged. And I'm like, please, please, please don't let any of these pieces be damaged. Because it, I think it's a pain in the butt. I actually got this at Target for... It was six hundred and sixty dollars, but I got it on sale for three thirty. So I think it's a it's a pretty good deal, uh, and it's really good quality too. So I'm like hoping I'm like I know like I th I just feel like it's more of a pain in the butt because I got it from Target.com than to like call and um, get a replacement. But I might see if the actual company will. Um, do but we'll, we'll see so the piece that is damaged is this one right here so only one of them are so i can always put it in the back because this is the way that the, the bed goes so the one that's here it's pretty smashed i kind of buried it already but uh you can kind of see it here it is um see it's it's smashed like right in here and it's it's really really noticeable so if i had it on the front it's probably a bad idea but it's like right here like smashed um but obviously it's the one that's underneath there so if i go ahead and move, use that one for the back wall um i should be fine so and i know kids beds get damaged you know so i'm like not too worried about it but i had another piece that was damaged too which one was it um d if I can focus so right here and here and it's not really like damage damage it's like they painted it and I have a glob of paint on it so I'm like well whatever I'll go ahead and put it on the side that goes against the wall so that shouldn't be a big deal but I mean when you're looking at it it just looks like a glob of paint so um my goal today was it's already Tuesday I'm not like I haven't really vlogged bless you Barkley um my goal was to get this bed unboxed I got it about a week ago 
and um, I just have not had time to do this because I was working on the bathroom and the bedroom. I have no idea what is going on with my hair. So I like, yeah, I wanted to like twist it up a little bit today because it was, um, is that safe? But I'm just like, what is this little bumps going on? So anyway, so Monday, crazy Monday. Mondays, yeah, I swear, even if I didn't have to take the kids anywhere, Mondays would still always be crazy because it's like beginning of the week, prepping for the week, it's just mad style. So yesterday, I didn't vlog at all. But um, I did my normal Monday stuff, clean the kitchen. I actually didn't finish cleaning the kitchen, so I had to finish it today. And I actually finished cleaning, I just didn't stock. So I actually stocked the pantry, and I actually went ahead and rearranged the freezer on this side because I was trying to figure out something for dinner. And we're out of chicken nuggets from the freezer side. So go in the deep freezer and get it. And um, uh, what's it called? I just started started doing that. So I'm like, everything's clean, all perfect. I'm like, my normal Tuesday, Thursday stuff that I'm gonna do. I'm like at the computer all day. And I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna wait till next week and just get a lot of clean done because I was finishing up the bathroom. I finished it last week. Everything's organized except for um, like my facial tools. I've never. Um, I uh, got a bunch of stuff from like Fat Fit Fun and Ipsy and I wasn't sure, you know, what each one of them was. So I just was looking at that this morning too. So I'm like, good, I got a bedroom nice and clean. I got a bathroom nice and clean. And then I was gonna start on this weekly project. So I feel like the projects that I'm gonna be doing now is just a little bit at a time. So like I had, not last week, but the week before to like reorganize the whole bedroom of like the clothes and everything. And I really don't do I really don't do my projects on Mondays. I always normally start on Tuesday. I've not started this week's yet, but that's okay. Last week was the bathroom, and that took me like a good three days. So and it wasn't even like it went into the weekend. I'm like, you know what? That's okay. This week, what I'm starting to do is kids got two more weeks until spring break. So this week and next week, um, they still have school, and they're off for a week. Not only school but dance, which is really really nice. Um, so. I really want to focus on the basement because we want to finish the basement soon. Um, so <laughs> it's a disaster. Basement is a disaster. The girls, mainly Riley and Audrey, like completely destroyed everything with all the toys and there's Nerf guns and everything's everywhere. But I'm doing like a little bit at a time. So I already did all the clothes in there, which was literally like a third of the basement. So I feel it's like a third of the basement's clothes, which is all in containers. A third of the basement is toys, maybe a little bit over a third. And then the other third is like Christmas stuff. It's just like miscellaneous stuff. Like luggage, suitcase, like uh, bags, like all this kind of stuff. So, uh, and summer stuff, which is already in containers. But I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna try to focus on this. So this week what I really wanted to do was we have a shelving unit downstairs. Pretty much everything's out of that shelving unit. Um, except for like the extra office stuff. I'm like, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with that because I don't want to, I don't really have room in the office to put like the extra envelopes and stuff like that. But maybe I will when I reorganize the office, but I really want to focus on, um, stuff downstairs. So I want to go through all the board games and I'm not talking about like going to see if it works or if the pieces are there. I'm just pulling them out from where they're at and, and storing them in the bookshelf. So that was my only, um, my only like goal for this week for the project. But what I also was going to do was not only organize the, um, games in the shelves, which I'll show you guys later. I wanted to see what else I have in there and just like throw whatever I don't want out, out. So probably won't get to that today, which is okay. I like, I'm like, I feel like I'm going back and forth. Like I really want to get Bella's bed together, but I don't want to not finish it before she comes home. So I'm, I just wanted to get the, the stuff out of the boxes right now. Maybe I'll start making the drawers. Cause obviously you don't really need the drawers. And I'll just put them upstairs in my room, just kind of hidden from her. Um, Cause obviously that just goes right in, but I, really want to try by Thursday to have this bed put together but you know what though I might even just do it tomorrow because we have garbage day on Thursday and I want to we're actually gonna throw her bed out 
um because it's no point in saving uh the toddler bed it's it's one of the bars is broke and that's why i wanted to get a new bed anyways but um i'm hoping this helps with a little bit of organization with their stuffed animals too so but yeah so that's what i've been doing i've like oh, mason's been keeping me on my toes so you guys saw how crazy he was dancing but the weather outside is beautiful and then it's like we've been in the 60s yesterday today and tomorrow and then it's dropping again i'm like what is going on so i am just going to wait for riley riley come home before i do anything else but i'm just you know it's like a little cloudy up here right now all right so little miss isabella just came home from school and this girl her school is on fire with this readathon that they are doing so i wanted to show you guys yesterday but she she came off the bus and she was a hot mess she kind of looks like a hot mess right now look at this little shh. that's okay um yesterday what was yesterday rock and roll day rock and roll day so because they did 50 percent of their um goal they got to have rock and roll day and then last week when they hit 25 percent it was what extra recess wasn't it something else with the extra recess half day half day so she had to wear a hat extra recess um now we, now we have a ice well i'll talk i'll talk i'll talk i'll talk because you got food in your mouth but um she just got a permission slip to see well actually they got 75 percent right now before i even knew that before she came home I got an email saying they got game board day for Friday. So you get game board day on Friday. And then she just came home with a permission slip to watch the new Wonka movie on and, Monday. And she said we can bring our favorite stuffed animal and a jammas to wear. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Wow. So I want to say... I'm going to bring a big... A big one. Yeah. Stuffing in the I want to say they're done on Friday. So, um, I forget if they do 100%, they end up the getting, pizza. yeah, they end up getting an ice, not an ice cream truck, but like an icy truck, I think. It's an ice cone truck. An ice cone truck? Nice. All right, we got back home from dropping Riley off at dance, and the kids cleaned up. And I made them some pasta with vegetables. Mm. Oh my goodness, Bella said this is gonna be the best meal ever. Mm. You like it? Good, nice and healthy. Mason? Is it good? Mm. Man, I always get thumbs up from you, that's awesome. So I'm hearing some uh, clinking in my bathroom. Somebody jumped in the tub and can't get out. Can you not get out now? Hey, are you trying to drink the water? I was so cold. So I filled up the bathtub a little bit and put my feet in there to warm up. And somebody, look, cause, cause you don't have any water in your water bowl, huh? Huh? Do you need help getting out? Come here. Do you need help getting out? What did you do that for? Yeah, I hear. What do you know? I hear all this little clicking. Huh? You're always up to something. Okay, just got home. <laughs> I am like a hot mess right now. So I literally have been cleaning Mason's room. So plan change. So this week's weekly product was supposed to be like start, you know, start putting the uh, board games and the shelving unit downstairs and, and pulling whatever else is out there to get all prepped so we can start doing the basement. Not happening this week. I actually switched it. So not next week, but the week after the girls have spring break. That week I was going to organize, fully clean the kids' rooms. So I'm actually flip-flopping it. So I actually started to do Mason's day because he was missing some toys and he's like, mom, I'm freaking out. So I did everything. And I'm probably going to show you guys tomorrow because it's kind of getting late right now. I um, just want to quickly give you an update. Um, but I pulled everything. I washed everything down. All the shelves pulled everything out. So I have everything on the floor organized that the toy wise, like all the books are put away. But to do the toys in the shelves, I'm like reorganizing. Moved his bed in a different spot. So we're kind of moving stuff around. 
so it looks like it's bigger in there so that's what i did the only thing i didn't get to do was his closet because i am going through some of his toys and bye 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 so without him knowing um so hopefully i'll do that in the morning my goal is to do it right after bella gets home from or off to school work on that for an hour and then start putting together bella's new bed i'm hoping to get that done if i can at least get that done if i pull like all her stuff out and then at least get all that um put together and everything i'm hoping by the time she comes home that'll work so but we um just got home from uh wednesday dance all right there was like a bang i think a bird like hit the window and it happened again so no we just got back and i had a girl scout meeting tonight so i'm like you know what paul's stuck at work right now and i'm like i'm not leaving the kids there and bella has homework right now so i literally went to the girl scout meeting dropped off stuff that i needed picked up the stuff that i needed and then <sighs> mm, had to get castles so we, we were trying to figure out what to do for dinner and i was like you know what let's do white castles because i want mozzarella sticks so that's what we're gonna do is eat and do bella's homework but one thing I will say, how do you guys like my my hair tie? So I was driving and Riley's like, oh my gosh, my hair tie, I don't have a hair tie for dance. And I'm like, well, she's like, do you? And I'm like, no, the only hair tie I have is in my hair. And I looked at her and I just so happened to have this rubber band and I'm pretty sure it glows in the dark. Uh, band on my wrist that was in Mason's room that I was gonna throw out. And I'm like, well, I guess I can give you mine and put this in there. So I'm like, with my hot nose hair, but. Yeah, I don't, I really don't know what's going on today. It's just tomorrow's hair washing day, so hopefully it'll be all better. All right, we're out here waiting at Bella's bus on this rainy day. Look at this. I told her she looks like a detective. Mm. And what'd you tell me? Um. You told me I am a detective. So, you like your, your leopard jacket? Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Look up. Looks good on you. And I can bu button the, the pockets too. Yeah. Look at the camera. You're so spot to watch tv yeah. oh my goodness oh now you're focusing before you were focusing so i wa <laughs> i walked by to check on mason and he was underneath his crib well toddler bed it's a toddler bed not a crib. i know well it was it was we have you i had to take the bar and everything down so it was it's a converting it's a converting crib so um He's just chilling underneath her watching TV. That's hilarious. I, I'm like, I'm, I almost peed myself. All right, so just got done. I would have to say that this was like fully, fully, fully cleaning, wiping walls, boards, dusting, vacuuming, everything, and decluttering Mason's room. This is not, this is not how we're gonna keep it though, right? Cause he's gonna be getting furniture soon. So, still here. Th this is not. This always had stuff over here. There used to be like his little car thing and some stuffed animals that actually moved. So I moved them. So right now he's got all the Disney DVDs and just miscellaneous like kid movies. Um, and it's gonna stay here. We're gonna try to figure out what to do with DVDs, but nothing's really gonna be up there. I just have my stuff because I pulled up baskets and everything, but. Um, he has this little shelving unit, temporarily. Um, I don't know. I went through some of the toys and got rid of all the baby stuff and stuff that was bad. But, like, there's some blocks over here that when he's not looking, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be putting those away, too. But for now, I'm like, you know, I'll just keep this here. Um, obviously, his dresser, hamper. That's where we decided to put his bed. Um... I don't know. I like it there, but I don't. I think it's just because 
I don't know what's new. But, um, he's going to be getting all of our furniture when we look for, um, when we look for white dressers for ourselves. So, uh, this is all temporary. So, he's got his tool stuff. I went through it, organized it. This is a hot mess over here. Obviously, our shoes would go in the closet, but right now, there's no room. This is going to, we're going to be getting rid of this too. But I'm like, you know what, for now, I'm just going to put all the car stuff over there and just, that way he can just play in here. Um, and then over here is like, he's got little people stuff over there, which is probably going to go bye-bye too pretty soon. And then some more books, and I put all his coloring stuff over here. There's one of his PJ Masks cars that he had over in that area right over there. Um, and then, of course, like, now this, there's, there's, like, room all over here that I can actually do some stuff. You just keep flip flop in different places, don't you? Mm. So, uh, Riley has to go through her stuff, but this is, uh, Mason's side of the closet. So, I have to go, um, I have to go up there and, and do stuff up there, because, I like, I have over here, um, Mason's clothes that don't fit him anymore. So I started a pile over here because I have to wash whatever's in his hamper and pull out everything. And I don't want to bring him down until I was done with this stuff. So, um, temporary put his train there. Um, so this obviously is not going to stay here. I just flung his robes over there because I don't have any more hangers. And then I put all his costumes there, the little people stuff. So all this is going to end up going. And then this is all holiday books and then books that couldn't fit in the bookshelf. But this right here um, is all bigger books. So when I do Bella's room, this stuff will go in her room. I just figure right now this is a really good spot to put it because his room's pretty open where hers is not. And then he's done with pull-ups. That's actually going to go into, <laughs> into the garbage. So there'll be no more diaper genie. It kind of, um, one of the girls broke it. So, but... Yeah, so that's not too bad. His room is pretty much pretty much fine for now. It's nice and de decluttered and yeah, oh thanks, bud. And then majority of the stuff's put away. I have to do his build his car toys over there. I, I just temporarily put them over there, but um I told him I'm like, I gotta work on Bella's room because you know, today is Thursday, the end of our weekly vlog. It is almost two o'clock. And I really don't think I'm going to be able to surprise her and build that bed. So what I'm going to do is we're going to eat a little bit of something because we're both a little hungry. And I'm going to start to declutter and clean her stuff out. So then hopefully tomorrow she can come home and be surprised. All right, so I just, I'm in the girls' room right now. I just moved the dresser. So I'm kind of like trying to clean over here and I'm going to work myself um around but this is this is why it's been taking me so long so i pull the dresser and yeah all this all this fell i don't know there we go shit some shit some light on it yeah uh crazy huh tons of ripped up cardboard papers couldn't even tell you did this well i probably could have an idea but Oh yeah, so this is why it's been taking me so long. I literally like just finished cleaning Mason's room, obviously, and that took two days, and his wasn't even bad. So I'm just, ugh, this is, I took on a really big project. All right, so I literally just pulled everything out of here in Bella's little bookshelf. So I have to vacuum, but... I wiped everything down. Everything's drying right now. So I'm hoping to, um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to put this stuff away in here, but I have everything piles, but I have to go through all these, make sure everything's in there, what's supposed to be in there. Um, and I have a lot of the stuff over here, all her art stuff and some more toys. So still taking me a long time. We just got home from, uh, picking up Riley figured I talked to you guys for a second so I wanted to show you guys that so um like I said we just got home from picking up Riley from Palm's tryouts and I was like such on a roll doing this and I'm like you know what I want to keep going um because I really want to get her bed together tomorrow 
I'm like really hoping. So at least if I get all this cleaned up and vacuumed, I'm gonna try to like put this away so I can take like all the stuff that's down here that's can't be here when the bed's here uh, and move it uh, and kind of prep for tomorrow. I will be good, but like I said, we just got home from Riley's Palms Trials and she made the team for next year. So she's so excited. She came running the car. She was like, ah! so we're so happy for her. So I'm actually gonna be ending the vlog tonight because this is all I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna clean as much as possible and just try to put everything back as much as possible. Um, but yeah, so don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And down below is links for my TikTok and my Instagram. Follow me on there. And then I will see you guys in our next one.